say he's fixing to take off. I'm getting him done. <laughs> hey, yeah. I only stand around so long and gaff this fish. I got to get back over here and get on it. Beautiful fish. On yeah. the live target. <laughs> yes. That kingfish. The king is upset, buddy. <laughs> I knew they'd hit that thing, man. Be careful, bro. <laughs> Dude, there's like 10 of them. Look at them. Look at them all. They're all around it. Oh, oh! Whoa. That's a stud. That is a good one, bro. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Oh, man. Healthy That's one more there. than 15 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. he's coming back. He's coming back. I'm going to try and get him to eat it right behind the boat. Look at him under it. Oh! That was so awesome, dude! That was one of the big ones! That was one of the big ones, dude! Whale! Oh my gosh! I'm six foot tall, folks! That fish is a monster! He darn near touched the ground. Look at that. Grab his belly. There is only one fishing capital of the world. A place where fishing is our way of life. Join us for another Florida Adventure Quest. Florida Adventure Quest is brought to you by Blue Wave Boats, Okuma High Performance, Live Target Lifelike Lures, Salt Life Sport Optics, Bimini Bay Outfitters, Rig Wrap Rig Storage Solutions, Fins Premium Superlines, Power Pole, Reaction Innovations, and Real Tees Custom Teasers. Hello and welcome to another Florida Adventure Quest. We got another great show for you this week, folks. We're once again back out in the Gulf of Mexico for part two of our adventure with Captain Drake and his buddy Marty. We get into some more amazing fish and Drake, your spot continues to hold some giant fish. Yeah, man, couldn't have asked for a better day. We thought the fishing was great in the morning, the tide turned and then they really started to turn on for us. So. Through the rest of the afternoon tide change, the fishing just seemed to get better and better. And, you know, it was a lot of fun and a lot of different fish kept coming over the rails. <laughs> and not only did they get better and better, but they got bigger and way bigger. The king fishing down there is off the chain, folks. A lot of the tournament winning kingfish are caught down in these areas, down near the Keys. Some humongous fish up to 40, 50 pounds caught down there. And it's an exciting place to go and fish here in Florida. So take a look at this week's show. You're gonna really be impressed for some more incredible offshore action. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Say, he's fixing to take off. They all come do that. I'm getting them done. <laughs> hey, yeah. I always stand around so long and gaff his fish. I gotta get back over here and get on it. Another good fish, whatever it is. Don't do that! Stop! There you go, come on! Come on! Get you some back here! Man, these fish fight. Here he comes. Get you some back! Get you some back! Ah. Come on! Ah. Oh, he's going crazy over here. I think it's another African. It is. African? Yep. Another African species. Look at how pretty that thing is. You gotta push the button in. <laughs> Look at the fins on that beautiful thing. Oh man. Look how gorgeous that thing gorgeous is. Gorgeous. Look at them shining fish in the sun. Is unbelievable. Man, that's pretty. Man, what a fish. 
Tell you what, those things fight so good, man. Man, they're good fighters. Yes, they are. Beautiful fish. All right. Let's let them live to fight another day. Good job, Drake. Woohoo! That thing fought. There he goes. Man, that was killer. Woohoo! <laughs> Very nice. I like how the, the runners are actually leaving us alone for whatever reason. I don't know how that is happening. I'm perfectly okay with it. <laughs> oh, God dang it. Nice finish here. I got a king or something. I think I got a king. I seen him. Looked like a kingfish, I believe. Chaos, fish everywhere. Ooh, he did not like that. I don't know if I can get him or not. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> on the jig head, no wire, bro. Good job, That's man. That's fun on that light tackle. That was cool. I'll tell you Good what, stuff. that reel is smooth. Oh, the God drags on mighty. those are unbelievable. That's a great one for the smoker, too. Yep, the great one tried to eat me, too. He's a wiggler. Settle, settle down, buddy. My pliers are right there if you need them. There we go. Good job, dude. Good job. Put nice him on fish. the ice. Put him on the ice. Put him on the ice, buddy. There we go. Sweet. Nicely done. Good job. There's some huge kings down in these areas down here, man. Oh, we're, we'll catch a 50, couple of the 60 just to pounders. Do, we'll put down one here, of these dude. runners on a wire. That's They'll what, bite these live target baits, dude. Oh, yeah. They'll especially hit that trolling plug. We could get them up a little bit higher. I have a live thread in here, too. If they haven't had any pressure, they'll wreck this big sardine I got. Got him. On the live target. <laughs> yes! That kingfish. The king, he's upset, buddy. <laughs> Oh, the scaled sardine. He couldn't take it. He had to swim up and whack that thing. Well, now you'll even need live bait, Drake. We catch him on the fake stuff. Still live targets. Get it done. Yes, sir. Those are some pretty lifelike lures. Lifelike lures. Yes, sir. No, no leader on here either. 30 pound fluorocarbon tied right to the scaled sardine. No wire. Watched him come up and whack it. Here he is. Be careful, he's got a lot of hooks in him. Good job. Welcome aboard. Yeah. There it is. The live target got it done. He couldn't take it. Could I he? knew they'd hit that thing, man. Be careful, bro. <laughs> I knew he hit. He had it in the mouth. This hook was in the front when I first hooked him. It was in there. Look at that. On the scaled sardine, buddy. <laughs> I figured we'd get one on that. Deadly. Super deadly. Yes, sir. Oh, that was fun, man. Casting back there, they're right up that on the cool. surface. Yeah. I watched them just shoot up and just boom, just wreck that bait. Well, I'll tell you what, it doesn't get much cooler than that. Throwing this big dude back there and just twitching it. I caught that fish in 
probably only a foot under the surface, the lure floats and only dives down a couple feet when you twitch it. But with those kingfish, you want to work it really, really fast. You don't want to let them look at it real long. You want to keep it moving, keep it moving real fast. And they're aggressive strikers. Man, that was super cool. chased it right to the engines. Here they are right on my thing here. That's a big king right on this thing. He's just sitting down there. Oh, holy shit, that thing's huge. Dude, there's like 10 of them. Look at them. Look at them all. They're all around it. Oh, oh! Whoa. That's a stud. That is a good one, bro. That might be bigger than the other one you had. Jeez, that was cool. Things are aggressive, man. There is a pile of them out there. Was four or five nice ones. <laughs> that thing lasted like two seconds. <laughs> I'm surprised that little AJ didn't whack it. It's all right. We upgraded. Yeah, this is a lot bigger <laughs> than whatever that was. That little guy's still back here in the chum slip. Looks like a good king, bro. Yeah, yeah it is a good king. Yeah, 20 pounder. 30 pound fluorocarbon. That tsunami fluorocarbon is incredible. Folks, you don't have to go out and spend that big money on the fluorocarbon. You can buy that tsunami fluorocarbon. It's half the price as the rest, and I promise you it's just as good. I trust my life on it. It's incredible stuff. Check that tsunami fluorocarbon out. It'll save you a lot of money. Adam, <laughs> is... Oh, on. man, Get what the already. heck? I could already caught like four yellowtails or something by now, man. Maybe a cobia or another pompano, who knows? <laughs> it's all right, I've got patience. <laughs> this is worth it, Drake. I'm, uh, I'll give you some time for this one. This is good stuff here. All right, this all right. This is good I'll fish. Put a little heat on them, all right? Good. No, don't put the heat on them. That, you don't want to do that. He'll get all upset. He'll start chomping at the line and stuff. All right, he's about wore down. That's a good king there, bud. Smoking some fish. We're gonna be smoking a lot of kingfish. We'll have the smoker every single rack full. <laughs> Look at them trying to bite Look at that, that thing might be 18 or 19. Oh, they do that, dude. They reach back and they bite that line. He is not happy about his current situation. He knows he's getting to be a little bit in trouble. Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, sunshine. <laughs> that was sweet. There he is. He didn't like that. He saw me hanging out of the bat door. He gave me a little tail whip. Yeah. Dude. Oh, man. Healthy That's one. That's more here. than 15 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Drake. That's a hell of a kingfish, dude. That's a good fish. You're right. That might be 20 pounds. Hey, every, Damn! Every bit of that. That's a hell of a fish. What do you got? You got a good one on? There we He's go. He's real thick right here. Good stuff. <laughs> Come on back in the light a little bit. That's great, man. Look at those teeth. Woo! <laughs> that is a big king, dude. One-way ticket to Naples, Florida. Just got booked, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Look at the teeth on this thing. I can barely hold that dude up.
So more incredible action there in the Gulf of Mexico, folks. You know, when you run that far out in the Gulf of Mexico, the fishing can be absolutely incredible. Most anglers here in Florida don't go much more than 20 or 30 miles offshore. But when you're running 50, 60 miles out there, you can expect to catch fish like you've never caught them before. Especially when you're with someone like Captain Drake, who fishes commercially and also takes clients, really knows these spots and goes where not many anglers ever go. And you can see that by the action today. That incredible African pompano, those beautiful snapper, and I even got a nice king on the live target, sardine, which was just a bonus catch. Just incredible, Drake. The action on those wrecks is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, like we mentioned earlier, it, you just, you never quite know what you're going to get down into down there. When you're catching kingfish on artificial lures, that's when you know the bite's good and those, those spots have no pressure at all. So, it makes it fun to fish, you know, because it's just literally nonstop. You can't sit down the whole day because you're catching fish one after another. <laughs> you are right. My shoulders were so sore from reeling those snappers and stuff up and getting things going. You got to really work those fish hard to get them up. But hard work always pays off when you're offshore. You work as a team, you catch a lot of great fish, and the fishing was exceptional. Those big kings were amazing. They're a lot of fun to catch. You see them coming up behind the boat, slashing at bait and stuff, and it's really exciting. But you talk about a kingfish, the biggest kingfish we've ever caught on Florida Adventure Quest is coming up next. Check this out. All right, you ready for king number four? <laughs> where, where are you? Bring yours in. Somebody get that rod. I got it, I got it. Come on. Not fighting right. No, it's, I don't think it's a permit. Nice oh, fish. big mutton. Nice wow. fish. Wow. <laughs> you believe that on the permit bait? <laughs> <laughs> Beauty fish, man. God, that's a good mutton. It's not right. a bad one. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that fire tail. Gorgeous. Nicely done. Good fish. That's a great Very fish. Nice. Great fish. Another one joins Pretty. the box. Another new Gulf of Mexico delight. Oh yeah, but the bait will swim back at the motors is the thing. You might want to get this. They might sky on this. Look at them on top of the water. Oh! 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 oh he's he's coming back. He's coming back. I'm going to try and get him to eat it right behind the boat. Look at him under it. Oh! Oh! That was so awesome, dude. That was one of the big ones. That was one of the big ones, dude. Screaming. He was all right. He just tore into that bait. <laughs> Man, that was so cool! What a take, Drake! That was unbelievable! That was sick. Well, let's get this thing out of the way. That was unreal, man. Wow! What a take! That was so cool! That was almost like a Cuda take, that thing was that so was aggressive. Awesome. That might be a 30-pounder. It looked like he had some shoulders to him. Yeah, it did. Well, when they come up on my bait for that Goliath grouper, they, there was two real big ones. And I think you got one of them. They didn't go anywhere. They were just right here. Oh, man. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, holy cow. Oh my God, that's 40 pounds, bro. All day long. That's a true tournament fish right yeah. there. That thing's not Holy cow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the biggest kings I've ever seen. That thing is a whale, dude. He's as tall as you are. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, that is a whale. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm six foot tall, folks. That, that fish thing. is a monster. He darn near touched the ground. Look at that. Ground. Grab his belly, man. 
Oh, oh my God, dude. Can you get him up? Oh, unreal fish, Drake. Unreal. I knew they were big, but I had no idea that fish was this big. That's a That back is there. 10 inches thick, man. Dude, you did it, man. That is a giant. <laughs> that thing is a whale. What a fish, Drake. Oh, man. Well, I knew they were big when they come up after that Goliath bait, but I'll tell you what, I didn't think that they were this thick across the back. Yeah, he's six. Man, that's a tournament king, no doubt about it, man. We did it. Slimy King 5, bro, <laughs> that was an unbelievable about. fish. Man, you fought that thing forever. Yeah, that was a good battle. Well, that wraps up today's show in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Southwest Florida. As you can see, we had one of the most amazing days on the water to complete two episodes, and the fishing was on fire. Captain Drake, I want to thank you very much. I can't thank you enough and Marty for taking us out there. The fishing out there is, is always beyond my wildest dreams. It really is. Yeah, I enjoyed it as always. It's always a pleasure having you guys on the boat. We always have lots of laughs and the fishing's always nonstop. So enjoyed it a lot. Look forward to doing it again. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you want to experience a fishing trip of a lifetime, get a hold of Captain Drake Noble. This guy will put you on some of these exclusive wrecks here in Florida and you'll catch fish like you've never seen. Incredible fishing out there and some of the most beautiful scenery in the Gulf of Mexico right off the coast of Florida. Thanks for watching today's show and stay tuned next week for another exciting adventure here on Florida Adventure Quest. For great tackle giveaways or behind the scenes footage, go to our Facebook fan page and our Florida Adventure Quest YouTube channel.